<sighs> okay, I think we're good to go now. Alright, gonna be starting a new game. So this is a game that <laughs> probably only me and Zenith will know. I'll be surprised if other people actually recognize it. Okay, so welcome to Kodelka. Believe it or not, this is actually a horror slash RPG. Let's see. I want menu to be a uh, triangle. I'll try run as square. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, let's start a new game. Yeah, the horror RPG genre is not a very prolific one, but uh, Parasite Eve is in the same type of genre as well. So this is our main character, Kodoka. Kodoka, sorry. Oops. Goodbye, pendant.
not dead yet. Not yet, but it looks like you're going to die soon. Maybe. But you'll have to pardon me while I tend to some unfinished business first. Business? What can you possibly accomplish in your condition? You can't even hold your gun steady. Well, no, unless I try. That thing's not gonna die unless I shoot it two or three times. First battle. So something that this series is famous for is the really screwed up enemy and boss designs. I mean, this one's pretty tame right here, but you'll see as we go along. the spell flare. Thank you. So I guess my time is up. Hey, Angel. I'm not gonna ask you to take me to heaven. But will you pray for me at least? Are you out of your mind? There's no bloody way I'm going to pray for you. But I guess I owe you because you saved me too. Payback time. Let's go. Stand up. I'll leave you here. What happened? It doesn't, doesn't hurt anymore. I'm cured. Yeah, and so I cured you, so what? You? You cured me. But, but I was almost dead. I'm confused. So you really are an angel? Don't be foolish. <laughs> Do you really think that there are angels on Earth? I'm no angel. I'm just a medium with a little curing. I'm I'm Edward J. Plunkett. I, I know I look pretty shady, but you don't look too wholesome yourself. I... No, I'm not like you. And this is no place for people like you. Why did you come here? I heard a rumor. A rumor? I heard something in London. That the son of some rich family bought an old monastery. Spent a ton of money to convert it into a house. I heard he brought quite a lot of harlots here. Seems like he was having a great time. So, where is this monastery? That's what I want to know. Can't get this way to put a poor man's fear of God into this rich bastard. So far, I haven't found anything. Then this monster attacked me. I, I almost got killed. If you'd come any later, no doubt I'd be singing hymns in his stomach right now. You shouldn't have bought such a good horse 
She's too fast. Too bad you won't be hearing me sing those hymns. When I was a boy, I was a pretty good soprano. If you don't stop talking, I'll leave you here. My name is Kudalka, and I'm only going to say this once, so don't forget. If you want to get out of here alive, I suggest you stick very close. Got it? But yes, this game sure. is called Kodelka. Sure. I'm not surprised if you've never heard of it. <laughs> Compared to stuff like Final Fantasy, Parasite Eve, all that other RPG stuff, this one doesn't exactly stand out or anything. It's an... A very interesting RPG, though. I find it fascinating. So, the way you save in this game, if a room has an S symbol by it, that means that you can make a temporary save. Also, let's change my formation real quick. We're going to have it so that Edward's going to be in the front. So Kadelka plays, uh, well, the way stats work in this, you can kind of build up your characters however you want, but they're more, the way their stats are already spread out, they, they're already like, they already lean like a certain way. Like Edward, you could make him a mage, but there's really no point to, because he is best off as a, a melee dude and a tank. Kadelka oh, uh, leans much better towards being a mage. She, she'll be your strongest mage in the game. Oh, hold on. Let me make my config change again. I think I want this as circle. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's better. Locked from the other side. Hold on a sec. I didn't actually save yet. Sorry, excuse me a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's keep going. Get some pistol ammo. Thank <laughs> you. 
This game is a bit more finicky with, like, going upstairs and picking up items than, say, Resident Evil. Alright, so, we got ourselves a spell. Let's start leveling it up. Because everything between weapons and spells in this actually gain levels the more you use it. Kind of like in uh, Final Fantasy 2. Like, the more you use a weapon, the more proficient you become with it. Now, we do have a knife that we got, but I'm not going to equip it just yet, or equip any kind of weapon on Edward. Because a mechanic in this game that's not ever explained is that weapons that you equip eventually break. And they break depending on the character's strength stat. So the higher the character's strength, the more likely it is to eventually break. Although some weapons, I think, have, like, a set use before they break. Oh, I've been silenced. That's not good. Okay, goodbye furniture. This game doesn't have a whole lot of status effects, but silence is one of them, poison's another, and there's also paralysis. Paralysis is easily the worst out of all of them. Yeah, I had a feeling that the aesthetic for this game would definitely be up your alley, Vice. Okay, so we leveled up. At level up, we get four points to play around with to increase our stats. Okay, so quick rundown. Strength increases we uh, physical strength for attacks. Vitality increases defense and max HP. Dexterity is also important because it increases accuracy for physical attacks. Agility increases the amount of turns that you can get in a battle. Intelligence increases your spell damage. Pi, which stands for piety, uh, it, that both increases your magic defense and your max MP. Mind is like dexterity, but for magic, so it increases your magic accuracy. And then luck... Luck's a weird stat. It uh decreases the more luck you have, the more the more likely you are to not run into a monster. It affects several things. Like it 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 has a dodge chance and I think it definitely increases item drop rate. So for Kadelka, because we want to raise her as a mage, strength dex and dexterity and luck, most for the most part, are not going to be important. So we want to pump up her intelligence. And at this point, I would say increase her uh, piety to give her more MP so that she can cast more spells. We will eventually need to put some points into vitality just because we don't want her to be, you know, completely defenseless if something gets up close and personal to her. All right, so let's go with that. got bread.
You found a dirk hidden behind the picture frame. Let's take it. So the thing about weapons in this is that weapons always have a random element to them. So in this case, I got an air dirk, which means it'll have a wind affinity. If I really wanted to, I could reload the temporary save that I made and try to roll for a different type of dirk. But it's not, it's not terribly important at this point. I would like to get an earth weapon if I can help it fairly soon. It would be nice to have. There's an old couple in the room, Ogden and Bessie Hartman, who say they are the caretakers of the Nementon Monastery. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes, please. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you like some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not that. I'm all right for now. Thank you for your hospitality, though. <laughs> no trouble at all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. So are you two really the only ones who live here? Why do you ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the ninth century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius to worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. That was how the Nemerton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Monsters. Is that right? Yes. What about them? You might not believe this, but we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You saw it too. You mean that monster's been around for a while? Well, we've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years, but from about six months ago, Monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every month. And I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh, dear. What if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now we're out of bullets. That's not good. The monsters might try and attack you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Thanks. That'd be great. Looking after others. He's so wonderful at that. So, have you two been to... Yes, quite a while. Now, all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days... Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. Oh, what a nice old couple. It's been locked with the red key. Huh. Okay, so he's gonna cast a spell. These things are actually kind of dangerous for a starting enemy.
Oh, great, she's paralyzed. Okay, at least we got it. Now this would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Are you still hungry? I didn't have anything to eat or drink for three days. Of course I'm hungry. Speaking of which, you wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah, if it weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. Pardon? I said, if the soup weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. Yeah, didn't Got you hear it? her? Poison. No way. Just a little bit. I smelled some poisonous plant. What's that? Oh. Oh, I can tell you how you're going to feel. In about half an hour, you won't be able to move your body. If you don't find an antidote, you'll definitely die. Uh. So they really were trying to kill us. But why? Don't know. Teams are quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> they must be hiding something. <laughs> Listen, Edward. I'm going to try to cure you now. But you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. It's safer if we pretend we're dead and continue exploring this building. I think we'll find something interesting for sure. <laughs> I like how Edward's just there suffering while Kadelka's talking about all that. We got a knife. Some cheese. Nice. This per the, the perspective of this room always screws me up. Because there's actually two doors in this room. Panakia. That will cure all status effects in the game. Okay, so there's something underground.
hands. Uh, I know it couldn't be pronounced either Panakia or Panacea. I usually call it Panakia, though. So the interesting thing about this whole field is that if you move up with a character, enemies can't go past you until that character is either knocked back or killed. But at the same time, if a monster comes forward on the field, you can't go past it until it's dead. He got poisoned, but poison is the most tame out of all the status effects in this, because it does so little damage, and status effects go away after a battle anyway. Okay, good, finally. Okay, so Edward... Let's see... Give him more strength, and more vitality. Right, I found a Listel. Listels are like ethers, they're used to recover MP. We found a hammer. And we found a pipe. Now let's see what elements we got. Ooh, an earth pipe. Okay, so this will come in handy. The vital hammer will be kind of interesting too, because vital means that when it attacks an enemy, it'll also restore your HP by that amount. Dark, it'll mean it'll do dark damage. There's also another weapon type that you can get called Mystic. If a weapon has Mystic, it doesn't actually do damage, but when you attack, it drains the enemy's MP by however much damage it would have done. So, it has its uses. The only thing is that armor and accessories are exclusively dropped by enemies for the most part. So it can completely come to random chance if you even get armor at all. Something's not right. There's a man collapsed on the ground. It looks like he's passed out. So, Edward, I'm going to equip you with the Earth Pipe. Or actually... Vital Hammer might be good for this. And then... Let's use the single Listel we have on Kadelka. As you try to move deeper into the herb garden, a giant plant attacks you!
that's probably going to poison her. So another interesting mechanic in this is that magic damage, the, uh, the, the closer you are to an enemy, the more damage it does, and the further away you are, the less damage it does, which is kind of interesting. So that's pretty cool that now Edward has the ability to heal himself with his own weapon. Make this boss a lot easier. See how much flare does now that we're closer. Ooh, significantly more. Still kicking. Right, Kadelka is out of MP now. By giant plant. Okay, we got the icons necklace, which is actually a key item, and we learned the spell geyser. What happened? Oh, yes, that's right. That monster. Oh. Who on earth are you two? Hey, we rescued you and that's your way of saying thanks? Little did I know that these these days were into rescuing perfect strangers. You. My name is Kadalka, and this is Edward. Would you mind telling us how you ended up collapsed on this path? My name is James. James O'Flaherty. I've been searching for something, and it took me to the monastery. Little did I know that it become a breeding ground for demonic spirits. Then how did you get in here dressed like that? Through the main gate, of course. The caretakers welcome me with open arms. That husband and wife team? 
And the food? Was there no poison in your food? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Those caretakers tried to poison and kill us. That's not funny. I find it inappropriate for you to try to dupe an upstanding believer of the Christian faith. So <coughs> nothing happened to you then? Of course not. Not until I encountered that monster. Yeah? And we're the ones who took care of that monster. Far be it from me to expect any words of gratitude from you. I see. And I can tell from your appearances that the power of your faith alone was not enough to smooth things out with that monster. It wasn't the kind of problem that faith alone could solve. Ugh. Look at this plinth. It's broken now, but... holy water ran from it until recently. But I've become distracted. Almighty God, please give me the strength to ward off these monsters. I can see that we've wasted our time here. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Kudelka. Just a minute. Although I'm under the protection of the Lord, it doesn't hurt to take precautionary measures. I think I'll go with you. That head turn they did. I, I like how they don't even protest. They just let him join. With the mon monster gone, the font has once again filled with holy water. You can save here. Okay, so we now have our third and final party member, James. So James is kind of like a... He's interesting because... He could actually go like either way with your leveling up. You could either turn him into a physical fighter like Edward. Or you could make him into a mage like Kadelka. But I think I'll probably make him a mage. Since he's more built for it than... Uh, than uh, being a melee dude. Actually, yeah, let's keep, let's keep healing. Oh, wait, no. No, I can't. I guess her HP is too high to count for healing. I don't know. It's shining with a sacred light. It, it appears to have been purified by the holy water. So, when we defeat, like, a major boss, we unlock permanent save points, which also count as a healing spot. Okay, cool. So now we have a spot to return to if we want to heal and or do a permanent save. Oh yeah, and then Edward, you can go ahead and return to your fists. Oh. 
that's not good. These things will specifically target Kadelka and nobody else. Uh, yes! He's supposed to be upside down. He's just having a grand old time. I don't know, I don't think this guy is quite the charm as James. Yeah, all this thing is interested in is shoot is, is shooting Kadelka. Again, another fairly tough enemy to be fighting at this point. She might be dead. Yep, she's dead. Oh, that did no damage at all. Not good. It's rather unfortunate that we had to fight one of these things right away. I've got no way to bring her back to life either. Oh wow, that that did not do good damage. I was better off punching it. I sure am, Zenith. K O U D E L K A. We beat it. Okay, so if we want run into another one of those at this point, we're probably better off running. I knew if anyone else would know this game, it'd be you, Zenith. Because I did get you to play Shadow Hearts. Alright, 
Might not be a bad idea to go back and save. Shit, that's the wrong room. I mean, I find this system very fascinating. Myself. Oops, wrong memory card. Yeah, about that, Zenith. The bad ending to Shadow Hearts is canon as well. Fun fact. They just love their characters to suffer. Screw you for going out of your way to get the good ending. It's funny though, going from this to Shadow Hearts, they're two completely dif different beats of an RPG. Maybe? I mean, I've never actually played from the New World, so I don't know anything about it. Okay, so, Kodelka... More intelligence... And I guess we gotta start increasing her mind as well. Edward... I want you to have more agility, more dexterity. I definitely need to use my first level up for James to pump up his agility, because he is super slow at the moment. Technically, Kodelka has the same speed, but because of the weapon that she has equipped, it's increasing her agility by like 5. No, by 6. Okay, Listal. I'll take it. Okay, 
pistol rounds. And I'll take those as well. Oh, by the way, with items... I guess I could save. Uh, we actually- we do have an item limit. We have a hard limit of 50 items. Now, that might seem like a lot, but this also- it, this also covers- Equipment and key items as well. Alright, so at this point... Nothing that I was. I are born to life and living woe. Lord Byron, no. I am not an admirer of his. In the first place, his poetry is unrefined. And who gave you the right to judge the refinement of poetry? Poetry should delve into the depths of the souls of the faithful. And others. It should inspire the soul as to Alexander Pope, George Herbert. If they have the power to do away with these evil spirits, I'd choose anyone. Even that dear old carpenter's son. Blasphemous! So <laughs> Pagan! How dare you utter such words of sin? To seek help from someone you've met before is ridiculous, especially when people are dying from hunger every single day in London. Oh, they're all filthy anymore, little beggars that deserve to die. Heaven is... That doesn't sound like a demonic spirit to me. The noise is coming from that building over there. The poison didn't kill us, so now they're taking the fast and easy way now. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Why don't you ask the bullets who's being ridiculous? You idiots! This is like the strangest group of characters put together. Like, you got an adventurer, a gypsy, and a, a holy man. Alright, so we should probably level up a little bit for James. That was a silly noise. Oh, that probably silenced her. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> James, you weren't existing for a moment there. She did not get silenced. Okay, well that's good. Now she's silenced, though. Rough. I like how they get just get annoyed at you hitting them. Let's move forward and try casting a spell with James. Ow. Okay, there's one level up for James. Wow, that is a lot of whiskey. That... <laughs> that is a shitload of whiskey. So, Whiskey is basically the phoenix down of this game. It'll re recover a character that's knocked out. Alright, so let's try to get James to level 3 before we move on. These things look cool. <laughs> Honestly, the most th fun thing about this series is the monster and boss designs. Because they can get pretty screwed up. Alright, well, since he's not doing any damage of spells right now, because he has such a low intelligence, then we'll just use him to heal. At least until we can get his intelligence up. Yeah, the sanity gauge for Shadow Hearts was, is very weird. I mean, generally, the sanity meter isn't even really an issue, except for like the start of the game where you have like next to uh, no sanity points.
Oh man, just what I always wanted. I got Roman nuts. I know at least in Shadow Hearts 1, Alice starts with like 3 sanity. It's like 3 or 5. So you really cannot afford to drag out a battle unless you have the items that cure sanity. Also that item we got called Roman Nuts. It's basically the elixir of this game, because it fully restores HP and MP. Oh, wow! You punched the shit out of that thing there, Edward. definitely gonna have to beef up his intelligence if we're gonna have him be a decent uh, secondary mage. paralyzed. That's not good. Alright, Edward's uh, barehanded level went up by one. Very good. Even though it's not doing a whole lot of damage, it still counts as a use, at least, for leveling up, leveling up the spell. Ow. Two listals. Okay, I'll take it. With this game, I'm always worried if I'm not leveling up the right way. Like, I could probably go most of the game without ever having to really increase agility. Just focus on the main stats. Because agility, I think, isn't really important until, like, the final boss, which is super fast.
Ah, uh, sorry, Doug, if you're just paying attention. It's not important at the moment. It was just a me problem with trying to stream on new stream. So let's try to get James to level 3, then I'll go back and heal. So let's go back, we'll do a proper save.
Okay, we can probably fight these things, no problem. <laughs> this is a horror RPG called Kodelka for the PlayStation 1. I love the thing- the way this wa thing walks. It's so silly. He's just strutting on over. Okay, so I think this thing just has a naturally high magic defense. But yeah, I'm probably going to be keeping Edward barehanded for most of the game. Just because I can't afford to be breaking weapons. Ooh, I got another hammer. Interesting. What element is it? Alright, so I got a vital... Uh, Mystic hammer... Could be useful... For him to recover MP with. Might have to give it a shot. Let's make a temp save here.
Okay, so we got a red one, a green one, and a blue one. to equip the earth pipe. Just gave him MP when he didn't even cast anything. Okay. Okay, at least Kodoka didn't get silenced. That's good. Okay, goodbye to the water one. Again. That wooden one got knocked the fuck out by my earth pipe. Very good. Okay. That works out for me.
He actually healed himself. Okay. Gotta make you a better skill, but, uh, spell caster there, James. Alright, so we got a rapier, a Tabar, and a J ring. And we also learned the tornado spell. So a fire tabor and an earth rapier. Not bad. Alright, and an air J ring. We'll give that to a Kadelka. Make her spells even stronger. Might not be a b bad idea to duck out and heal again, since our MP is getting pretty low. It's just a pair of legs and half a torso. we go. So now that his barehanded skill has leveled up a bit, he has a chance of double attacking. Which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Still kicking. Get it? Because it's a pair of legs. Very rude.
I'm surprised this thing is still, you know, alive. Seriously, how much HP does this thing have? Okay, finally. <laughs> oh, shit. It dropped a ring, though. Let's just give it to James. It'll help him out. Yeah, getting any kind of piece of equipment is a huge rarity in this game. So I gotta take what I can get. memory card this thing again.
Ooh, that did significantly more damage. Ooh, that, that air ring helped a lot. Wow. Yeah, baby. Oh, and we got an axe. This is definitely more finicky for going upstairs and going through doors than Resident Evil. God damn, Kodelka. Now you're real addition out the numbers there. Okay, another listal. I'll take it. You see a pile of corpses. Lovely. Let's 
it's locked with a four digit combination padlock. I, I don't know the combination. and skeletons it's full of ghosts and spirits oh, i can feel them oh my head hurts i got a bad feeling about this horrible dear lord please save these lost souls this must have happened a long time ago oh and the power is so strong if I can channel some of these spirits, maybe I can find out what happened here. Channel the spirits? Shame on you. You two should be praying for their souls. The spirits floating in this room. I can let them possess my body so they can talk. Oh, the reason I came here is I heard the cry of one particular female voice. She was... I will not stand for this. Not only do you not believe in God, but now you're going to disturb the spirits? Shut up! Would you stop bothering me? Oh, oh. Chains and darkness. Oh, oh. death. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, there were so many of them. This is. going on? Oh, they were imprisoned and tortured and, oh, thousands of them. I killed them. They Whoa. cut off my fingers. They crushed my legs. They smashed my head and cut out my guts. They took everything from me. They locked me up and chopped my body. Oh, my eyes! Oh, my ears! Oh, they're burned! Oh. How horrible. This place used to be a prison for hundreds of years kept in secret whoever went against the authorities or misconducted themselves in any way were locked up here and killed no don't touch me you piss off go to hell <laughs> wow Can't believe she told James to go to heck. Okay, let's see here. Oh, a mystic axe. Actually, it's not as good as the mystic hammer. Surprisingly. Hmm. Go figure. Uh. Okay, as for you, I'll equip you with the Vital Hammer. Everyone's HP is. Well, it could use a bit of tweaking. see a closet there's a mummy dressed in a wedding dress inside the closet as you look at it it opens its eyes and suddenly attacks
so let's try casting Flare on this thing. Now this is, I think, a more defensive boss, both physically and magically. I'll try hitting it with Cure, because this thing actually takes damage from healing spells. Oh, ow. That hurt quite a bit. This is Koldelka, Ben. Oh, well... Flare still did a good bit of damage to her. This is a horror RPG for the PS1. I I don't blame you. Uh, almost nobody has heard of this game. Except for me and Zenith. This is the prequel to Shadow Hearts dashing. Oh, that's a fun attack. <laughs> Just throw everything but the kitchen sink at her. She didn't get silenced though, so that's good. Good shit there, Kadelka. Like, seriously. Alright, um... Might be a good idea to start bumping up her HP. I think that's a good idea. Ah, good, another ring. Perfect. So this is another Earth Ring. Ah, would have been nice if it was a uh, another Air Ring or something. Well, James can have it. Increases Mage stats a bit more. Okay, we got ourselves a rope ladder. But yeah, Bang, there's a whole lot of mechanics to this. Like, um, 
Weapons break, which the game never tells you. They will eventually break. Uh, using certain weapons or spells repeatedly will eventually level them up. And how you level up your characters is super important. No, skills. Not skulls. Hey. Angry ghost hey. child. Wait a minute. Hey. Edward. You should have just died before. I wanted you to lay down and die. <laughs> there goes the spooky ghost mm -hmm. child. Wow. Very good. Okay, now you're starting to get it, James. It stands for Piety, Astro. Uh, I explained this earlier, but for people who are just joining. Alright, so you have eight main stats. Strength is for your physical attacks, how much damage you do. Vitality increases your physical defense and your max HP. Dexterity is for accuracy of physical attacks. Agility increases the number of turns that you have per battle. Intelligence is the, the power of your spells. Piety increases your magic defense and max MP. Mind increases your magical accuracy and luck of, affects a variety of things.
red glass part. I'll take it. Oh shit! Time to fight ourselves! So, first target is going to be Doppelganger Kodelka. Or at least that would have been the case if Edward Doppelganger Edward hadn't blocked our way. Oh shit, that one actually hurt him quite a bit. Okay, good, but we got her. <laughs> okay, goodbye, Doppelganger Kodelka. Ah, uh, yes, welcome to Kodelka, Spook. It is a little slow. Yeah, the monster designs are the main draw of this series. Oh, good thing I decided to cast Cure on him.
Uh, there's Kodelka, and then there's the Shadow Hearts games missing. Kodelka is the prequel to Shadow Hearts 1. But yeah, this game isn't exactly well known. Especially because of its strange name, Kadoka. But yeah, it's the same uh, type of genre that Parasite Eve was, horror RPG. did in Doppelganger James, so we win. Okay, let's see. Give her over 300 HP, that'll be good. more intelligence and more MP. I think I did strength dex last time, so let's do strength vitality. Right now. I think I did vitality last time, so we'll go for dex. Okay, so we got Icon's Earring, a High Potion, five Panakias, and the Revive spell. There's a picture in stained glass of a martyr being burned at the stake. There's some kind of writing in red at the bottom, but it's illeg illegible because of the other colors. Maybe if you had something red to rub against it, you could make out the letters. Okay. The numbers 7038 written in Greek appear. As you look at the numbers, you remember that the, the chest on the second floor had a four-digit lock on it. Edward utters a deep sigh as he stands in front of the stained glass. Did you see all those bodies? Be quite a party if they were alive. They've probably been abandoned for hundreds of years. Must be some fascinating old stories. I saw some pretty fresh ones, too. 
One who was shot. One who'd been cracked in the head with an axe. And some with no visible signs of injury. They must have been poisoned. I bet the new ones were fortune seekers like us. That old couple must You mean to tell me they killed all those people? Rubbish. All those deaths are rubbish? They're all liars and thieves anyway. This is still a monastery. This is still God's house, prison or no. Why all those liars and heathens are killed is none of my concern. How could you possibly say a thing like that? That doesn't sound very priestly. I am not a priest. I am a bishop. I don't give a rat's ass what you are. Look, I'm not saying that all of those people were saints, okay? But that doesn't mean that they should be put to death. You saw that old... They're so well-mannered, kind. You think they're killers? Good manners? Yes. Think about it. Why would they leave the place such a mess? I don't know. You think they'd at least bury the body? Possibly. Anyway, I have this strange feeling we're not alone with all these bodies and ghosts. You'd better keep your mouth shut. If you want to live. I, I just love how this party just is bickering for a good chunk of the game. They're, they're, they're only tolerating each other's company out of necessity. <laughs> it's so silly. Alright, how am I doing on items? Alright, so 10, 13, 28. Edward's an, an adventure. I think Locke from Final Fantasy VI would disagree for, with you. He calls himself an adventurer and a treasure hunter. I also love how we're supposed to be in Wales, <laughs> but no one has a British accent, which is very silly to me. Thanks for popping back into existence there, James. Oh no. <laughs> what a silly enemy.
it bounced its last bounce. Okay, probably give you some vitality. At least the cool thing is, every time you get a level up, you get a full heal as well. So that's nice. Okay, back over here. 70, 38. You found the guard's diary. Okay, so it was originally Nemeton Prison, not Nemeton Monastery. It is simply a dungeon where those in power seal away those without it who stood in their way. Wow. Over 8,200 people have met their maker within these walls. And that's only the ones accounted for. Her favorite little doll, huh? Knowing he will never be released, we need not take care to leave him whole. Lovely. Okay, Spanish boots is something I never heard of, but <laughs> it doesn't sound p particularly pleasant.
She kept the wedding dress she never got to wear until the day she died. Hmm. Sounds like that mummy we killed. You spelled please there wrong. You're looking for P E P L E A. Oh man, this would be right up Razor's alley if he was here. Okay, so the prisoners broke out, and they killed all the guards. Serves them right. Sounds like there were some real atrocities going on here. I'll have to make another permanent save since I haven't yet to at the other permanent save point. Nice combo there, Edward. Died from one spell. Okay. It seemed to last longer lo the other time.
Kudel, did you find anything? No, nothing, but... Oops. Down the hole we go. Oh. Uh, hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. So, pistol rounds and an antidote. You see a pile of corpses. Darn. How does it look? You think we can get out? I don't think so. You'd need the strength of a bear to break those bars with your hands. What do you mean we can't get out? How hard can it be? Why don't you ask these guys? Damn it! Did you see that? Someone's in here. Will you shut up and get us out of here? How hard can it be for thieves like you to get us out of a place like this? Try saying that in the East End, holy man. Your severed head would hit the ground before you even finish the thought. This is worthless. I can't believe I'm wasting my time on you. I'm on a mission from God. died here as well? Yes, I did too, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They left me up in here right after I was born. They beheaded me the day I turned nine. Happy birthday. I've been trapped here ever since, and no one even knows who I am. <laughs> My poor little angel. <laughs> poor little angel, Reed? Save your pity for yourself. You'll be dead within three days. Not true. I don't know what your circumstances are, but I know that your mother loved you very, very much. My mother? I don't know her face, her name, where she came from. Nothing. You're telling me that means nothing. From the day I was born, the day I died, no one will ever love me. And I never want to be loved. Just die! All of you! Just die! Yikes. Little ghost girl has some anger issues. Oh, did my did my flare level up? I think it did. I'll have to see if it costs sixteen or eight MP to cast.
Owie. Okay, that is definitely a level 2 spell. So Flare leveled up and I didn't notice. Not my strength. It's a little tougher than I thought, so maybe I should have equipped Edward with a we an actual weapon there. But oh well. Couple goodies in here. You see a woman's corpse from what's left, you can tell she must have died horribly. We got ourselves a mace. Some knuckles from the Knuckles May Cry series. That's pretty good. It would increase his stats. Okay, so now they have roughly the same intelligence, which is pretty cool. And then for Edward, let's equip those knuckles. And they're actually fire knuckles.
There are name tags attached to the mummies. They read Valna and Vigna. You see something green and shiny between the two bodies. It looks like the green key, but you can't get to it. Valna and Vigna are in the way. No, I do not want to try to pull the green key away from them. Now, if you try to take the key away from the mummies there, they'll come to life and attack you. And it's a battle you can't win. Okay, you got some more whiskey. Oh, shit. Look at him go. Now he can attack up to three times if he's lucky. Oh, he dropped a brooch, too. Interesting. It's a tank filled with acid. Well, I would, but <laughs> I have nothing to put it in. Rifle rounds. Some kind of scorpion hybrid, it looks like.
Damn, Edward's kicking ass now. More knuckles, cool. Light knuckles. Hmm. Increases his strength a little bit more, so that's. Oh, wait. These aren't actually. Mm. They may not actually be that useful. Well, I'll give them a try. Because I. Because these are light element, I think most enemies in the game resist light. From my understanding. A normal board. Oh yeah, I also got a piece of equipment that I didn't equip. A water... Whoa! Holy shit. have that. You can get the air ring. And then you get one of the earth rings. Wow. That was a pretty cool brooch. Although... That way their MP is a little bit more balanced. Check this thing out. I believe this thing is called the Mad Fly.
Ooh, good thing I decided to heal him first. Holy shit. Oh, he's dead. Wow. Okay, not bad. Still not dead, though. Right, go whack it, Edward. Okay, now it's dead. Okay, so I think this will be a pretty good place to stop for now. Alright, so next time we'll continue Kadelka f uh, from the close to the starting point of disc 2. Goodbye!